So what's up everybody and go for five and welcome back to another video. This video is just gonna be a quick guide on the new player input uh, system on um, Unity. Uh, so this tutorial is, is assuming you already have it. If you don't have it, just go to Windows, uh, Package Manager and search for it there. It'll look like um, this right here. Click install if you don't have it and it will install the new system for you. So once that's installed, go to your player game object, uh, go to add a component, type in player input so once you have to get a uh, component in here, go ahead and click uh, Create Actions. This is going to create an asset for you, so just name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Player Actions. Click save. So once you have that done, um, go to Actions. Now I might not put it in here for you automatically like mine, but either way, make sure that the file you just created is in that little box there. Once you have that done, go down here to Behavior. Click Invoke Unity Events. So what this allows us to do is to call a function as soon as an event happens, so move or look or whatever the case may be. So now we'll need a player movement script, which I have one here already set up. So let's go to Visual Studios. So my movement is gonna be 2D. There's gonna be four directions, up, down, left, right. So I'm using a vector two to calculate the X movement and the Y movement. So it might be different for you if you're using a side scroller or if you're doing a side scroller, it might be a float for X direction or if you're using 3D movement, it might be vector three or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm using vector two. Um, so you're gonna need a new function. Um, you can call it whatever you want. I just call it my move. Um, in the parameters, you need this specific one right here. Uh, input actions callback context and I just named it context. So once you have that, that function set up, uh, what you wanna do is the variable that you're using to, um, to apply movement to your character, which I'm using vector two called velocity or VEL. I'm going here, vel equals context that read value and I'm setting it to a vector two so I can save it in this uh, variable and apply it to movement with a rigid body that move position function. And that's pretty much it once you have that set up. I'm gonna go back into Unity. Um, obviously, save the save the script. Go back into Unity. Go to the events player, and then move callback context. Click on the add to list. Drag in your player movement scripts, and where it says no function, click down. Click on the down menu. Uh, navigate to the name of your script, which mine is player movement, and then select the function you just created, whatever you named it. I think I named mine's uh, move, obviously. And once you have that done, everything should be set up and ready for you to uh, play with. So click on save it, press play. And there you go, movement is working. Now I have, friends, I have my player movement script already set up for animation, so all that, all that stuff is set up for me already. Uh, you will have to apply that stuff uh, yourself. So I'll leave basically a quick summary in the description. If um, you need more clarity because I'm, I'm not that good at uh, explaining things or teaching uh, these things so uh, uh, I'll leave that in the description I'll just type it out um, but that will be it for this video if you guys want more uh, videos like this uh, let me know in the comments um, but that, with that being said I hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video